I know, and they're cleaning the tank too. He's just like, where do I go? I just see this thing moving. I'm gonna hide now. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a bubble tip anemone. And then Ocellaris clownfish. Thank you. Clownfish and anemones have a symbiotic relationship, which means both animals benefit from living together. The anemones shelter clownfish from parrot predators, while clownfish can chase away predators that might otherwise eat the anemone. Oh, that's cool. So they protect each other. There's a little Heidi guy back there. Oh, that's a really cool one, too. That pink one in the middle. It's a cuttlefish, man. Oh, it is? Oh. That is cool. Oh, I should be good. Yeah, but... You have 25 minutes. That's all you can get. Okay. I'm going to make it work. That's so cute though. I feel like we have more than 25 minutes worth of video. I know, but I can go back and delete the rest of the old ones after we, when we cross that bridge. Look at the mandibles. Those are fun. I'm gonna be honest, they remind me of like the alien predator jaws. Look at that little guy. What is he? I don't know. But I'm like excited for it. Oh my gosh, they're like little mini ones. I know. That's like the little babies. You have nothing to say about them on the matter? Look, it's pink versions of the um, the the things, the plants, mm -hmm. Venus fly traps. I don't know why that just doesn't come naturally to me. This tank needs clean, though. Next is strict shrimp fish. That's interesting. These Indian Pacific fish depend on coral reefs and seagrass beds, critical but declining ecosystems. They swim with their heads pointing down, often sheltering amid long spines, sea urchin spines, corals, or seagrasses. Nice. Look, that's a tube coral. I know that one. I don't, but I know that's a tube coral. Oh, they're like right in front of us. They look like sticks. Oh. Well, look at that. They do look like sticks. I thought those were like pieces of, um, well, the, what do you call that stuff? Kelp. And they kind of stay all in one little group. They're like, we're all together. We're making our pretty star. I know they are. And they cohabitate together, which is awesome as well. Some more facts about them. Let's see. Honduras of fish species inhabit Florida's coral reefs. Unfortunately, many fish populations are declining due to invasion, invasive lionfish. I got you. I know that thing is huge, but I got to get these guys first. 
I just wanted to read the blurb. They are also super duper cute. Oh, I think that yellow one's my favorite with the little purples. Yeah. I love it. So cute. And then, of course, lionfish, which are awesome, but aggressive. And huge. And huge. Well. Jesus, man. But they're poisonous, aren't they? Yeah, their spines are. So it's kind of like a puffer fish situation. The, that's what the camera as fast as you read, but I got most of it. That one's like really good. I know, he's a big man. There's the statistics on the population. Oh, wow. I know, right? Generally below horses. He's just floating about doing his thing. I love the way they swim. Oh, there's a starfish over there. You see him? I wonder why they have the like thing on an incline. I guess birds. Say cowfish. Cowfish. Yeah. How cute. Well, didn't they donate some of the fish yes. from? Yep. That's what I thought. That archway they have in the library is awesome, though. Uh -huh. I wish he'd get puffy. Only if he gets scared. No, but I'd like to we'll see, see like biggest, it happen. The hugest version of that fish, the little version to the big version. Look. Oh yeah. Look at that big man. And it's so funny because those are spines, but they look like hair. I know, they do. Look at the lobster! Look, that thing is huge! Rock lobster. They're huge! I know, right? I didn't even see that at first. Oh, that is cool. They are, they're really cool, though. And it's, they have to have a round tank so they keep moving. Oh my god, they're so cute. I know. They just look like little beating hearts. They do. I wonder if they have man of wars here. My camera's not picking it up greatly, but I'm still getting some of it. They might have man of wars. Walk the sea. No, that's who it was donated by. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. They're a moon jellyfish. Oh, oh that, that's like a perfect of the little tendrils. Cone jellies. Unlike true jellies, cone jellies do not have the ability to sting. Stop moving the platter. Go ahead. Instead, they use specialized cells called coloblasts that release a sticky mucus like substance to trap prey. Cone jellies get their name from the rows of cilia that resemble the teeth of a comb. As the cilia flap, they refract the light, causing a rainbow pattern to ripple along their body. While native to Florida, cone jellies have been invasive in several parts of the world because of their voracious appetite for zooplankton. They can have negative effects on local fish populations. Oh. Though they would keep down the red tide. Oh, they do because they eat it before it can like multiply. You can see the fluid moving through it. I know you can. That is so interesting. The preserved animal, so he's not living, 
but it is a giant red hermit crab. Yep. Oh it's a preserved God. animal. And they said these legs back here is what helps them push themselves into the shell. To oh. See how they like look like their backup legs. Yeah. Oh my God, that's cool. Oh, those have a lot of the uh, stingy hairs on them, don't they? Yep. They don't have anything about them, though. No, they're very tiny. Very little tiny bodies. And they don't sting each other. How do they get stuck in each other? Oh, that's a good question that I don't have an answer to. Switch with you. Upside down jellyfish. Nathan, Nathan, take a picture. Oh, they spend most of their time laying upside down. They, so they certainly do. That is so different. They just like being in the sand, playing Look around. That one. It's like, I'm good, I'm upside down. It's fun. Look at that huge one back there. They're like suction they cups. They look like plants. They do. It's really cool. That's great. Jawfish. Oh, I wonder if those are those ones Barbara was telling us about that have all the teeth. There's another steerfish up close. But I don't see the jaw guy. Well, it says they burrow into the... Jawfish use their mouths to build burrows in the sand. How many can you find? There's one burrow. There's a little tiny guy back there, but I don't know what he is. Yeah, but he doesn't look like that picture. Nope. But the picture looks like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Oh, you could adopt a jellyfish too. I forgot to tell you. Oh, like how do you get Charlotte's trying to drive the submarine. How do you? If I could get oriented. <laughs> She's having difficulty getting oriented. <laughs> oh, I saw a fish go up just a little bit. Like move back, move the thingy back towards you. Oh, there's one. There you go. You got it now. You're getting it. You're getting there. Very nice. Big shark. Oh, you're... You're making friends with the window. You have to back up. There you go. I know, it's counterintuitive. Backwards is forwards and forwards is backwards. Deeper. Bring it towards you. There you go. Current status temperature 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, heat is 7.6. Touch these info points to learn more. There are 15 total. Well, how do you get out there and touch them? I don't know. That's an excellent question. Because you have to be out in the water. Right. I don't know. I've never used one of these. I caught one. Yay. Congratulations. You found your first license plate. Oh, go? maybe out the door? Exit. Let's see. There you go. Am I going out into the water? Yep. Oh Touch your data points. Go on. This tells 
shows you how much I play on video games. Uh-huh. Well, and I don't like joysticks anyways. I don't usually play games that require them. It's Like I said, it's very counterintuitive. This is moving like two miles an hour, though. As long as you touch the data point, that's all that matters. Tube sponge. An organism that breaks down and recycles calcium carbonate from organisms to settle on. As coral reef environments degrade from ocean acidification and climate change, sponges will likely increase in abundance. Very nice. I'm taking a rest while Charlotte has fun with her game. Look at this cool mural. It's really awesome.